Okay guys, welcome to today's lesson in statics. Today we're going to covering problem 26 in chapter 3. So number 26 says, A small boat hangs from two davits, one which is shown in the figure. The tension in line ABAD is 82 pounds. Determine the moment about C of the resultant force RA exerted on the davit at A. So, first we notice we have point C right here. And we're finding the moment caused by the resultant of the force at A. So let's write our moment equation. We have moment C is equal to, we know it's going to be the, the position vector going from point C on the ground up to point A at the davit shown. So we'll write R for position vector going from C to A. We're going to cross product that with our resultant force at point A on the davit. Okay, so we can find the position vector pretty simply. First, I'm going to look at the resultant at force at point A. So if we notice point A, if we were to imagine cutting the cables, we have two forces pulling down at point A, the weight of the boat. We have two tension forces. So if I would draw a free by diagram, I would have my point A, and I would have two forces, tension force, tension vector from going from A to B here, and another tension vector going from A to B here. Now that's not the only force you notice about the pulley. There's also a tension force going from A down to point D. So we need to include tension going from A to D as part of our resultant force vectors as well. Now if we were to write our resultant vector in vector in algebra algebraic form, we'd have resultant in A is equal to two tensions going from A to B, two times the tension going from A to B, plus we add in the vector to the tension going from A to D. So this is the equation for our resultant force. So we can find the position vector, we need to do a little bit of work over to find the tension going from A to B and tension going from A to D. So let's start off by finding the resultant, the position vector going from C to A by looking at the diagram. All right, so if we look at this diagram, we notice we have from point C on the ground, we go up to point A, we do not change any position in the x-axis, so our i-hat value will be 0, so it be 0 i-hat. We're going up a vertical distance of 7.75 feet, as shown here, going from C to A, so we would be plus 775 7.75 in the j-hat direction, and we're coming out a distance of 3 feet in the z-axis, on the z-axis, or in the positive k-hat direction. Good. So we have vector ca for position. We now need to focus on finding our force vector, our tension vector ab. So if you notice, the tension going from a to b is going straight down, and there's two vectors. So tension a to b so it would be the tension in the line, AB, AD, 82 pounds, going down in the negative Y or negative J direction. So if I write this out, I would have my tension AB is equal to tension in the line AB, AD, the whole line, times negative J hat. It's going down the vertical direction, so it would be negative 82 pounds of force in the J hat direction. So that's my tension for AB. Now we find tension AD. So tension in the line AD would be the tension in the whole line AB, AD, multiplied by the position vector going from A to D, and then divided by the magnitude or the distance going from A to D. So we want to work a few of these out right now. Let's go ahead and find the position vector going from A to D. So if we were to do that over here, position going from A to D. Look at the diagram again, we have, we we'll notice we're going from point A to point D. We are going six feet in the positive x-axis direction, or positive i-hat. So we have six, positive six i-hat. From A to D, we're going down 7.75 feet, so we have negative 7.75 feet. 
in the j hat direction. In the k hat, we're going in, going into the z axis, the neg on the negative z axis by three feet. So it'd be minus three k hat. Okay, very good. Now we need to find the distance, the magnitude. So remember, distance would simply be the square root of each one of these components squared out together. So the square root of 6 squared plus, in parentheses, negative 7.75 squared plus, in parentheses, negative 3 squared. So we find our distance. That will tell us by simply saying, use our calculator app real quick. Bring it up a little bit. So we're going to have 6 squared plus, in parentheses, negative 7.75 squared plus negative 3 squared. We're going to square this number. We get a distance of 10.25. Very good. Okay, now we can substitute these values in here. We have 82 pounds for our tension divided by a distance of 10.25. Units of meters will cancel out. We left the units of pounds force for our tension. And we multiply by our position vector. We have A to D. We just found a 6 I hat minus 7.75 J hat minus 3k hat. Okay, so we have our tension vector, which I'll again write down right, right here. Our tension A to D. We're going to have 82 divided by 10.25, which will be 8. So we multiply each one of these values by 8. So we know the first value will be 48 I hat. You know, the last value will be negative 24 k hat. And we're going to multiply 8 times 7.75. And we get positive, or I should say negative, I apologize, negative 62 j hat. So we have our tension vector here, a to d. Good. Now we can find the resultant of our tension AB, which is negative 82 J hat, and tension AD, which is this vector in these component forms here. So the only component for AB is negative 82 J hat. So we're going to simply just add negative 82 J hat to the negative 62 we already have. So I'm going to say negative 82 plus negative 82, and that's our negative 62. So we have our tension, or I should say our resultant vector, yeah, sorry, our resultant vector I apologize, we have to actually add twice this. I'm going to add, I'm going to say negative 82 times 2 plus negative 62 for my resultant. So that would be the GI component. The only thing that will change. So this vector will be our 48 I hat, and then minus 226 J hat, minus 24 K hat. All right, so I took twice this tension AB value, doubled it, added it to this J hat, they're both J components, added it to this tension AD vector, and now we have our resultant at point A. Very good. Now we're going to go back and cross do the cross product of our moment. So find our moment by doing the cross product of position vector from C to A times resultant at A. We know we can write this out as a determinant of a matrix. So it's going to be all the i-hat components in the first column. So it'll be position vector would be 0. Tent resultant vector is 48. Force vector. And in the j-hat, we have a position vector of 7.75 positive. And then a j-hat component for the resultant of negative 226. 
the k hat value is positive 3 position and negative 24 for the force resultant. I'm going to rewrite these columns on the i and j hat columns again. 48, j hat, 7.75, negative 226. Now, to do the determinant of this matrix, we're going to go down to the right and add, up and to the left, or up and to the right, I should say, and subtract. So we have 7.75 times negative 24, so negative 24 times 7.75. We get negative 186 in the i hat component. Let me go down to the right here, and we're going to add 3 times 48, which we know will be 144. In the j hat direction, and finally we're going to multiply this value by out and get zero, so plus zero. Now we're going to subtract the numbers we get. So we subtract each one of these. These were all added positive up here. Okay, I'm going to subtract going up and to the right. So 48 times 7.75. And we get 372. And this is in the k hat direction. So minus 372 k hat. And then we have, going up to right here, 3 times negative 226. So 3 times negative 226. And we get negative 678 in the i hat direction. And finally, I'm going to subtract out. This was negative. That was all minus. This will become positive. And then we have, finally, we have minus. Going to J hat, we have minus zero. So we have two I components, a J hat component, and a K hat component. So if we multiply this negative signs out, the negative and ne subtract the negative makes a positive. This will be positive 678. We have a negative 186. So 678 minus 186 will give us our I hat component. So our moment about C, we'll write this out completely, is equal to 492, and we were in units of feet and pounds, so pound, foot, we'll put at the end, 492 I hat, and then J hat is plus 144, and the K hat is minus 372. Okay, so 492 plus 144, minus 372 i hat j hat and k hat and these all have units of pound force feet so here's our final answer all right guys thanks for joining me in another simple stem solution video be sure to like and subscribe also if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.